Right now, as you're watching this video, our Earth is moving through a cloud of supernova debris, and it has been doing so for the last 33,000 years. Stars are just like people. They are born, live full lives, and then they die. Massive stars burn huge amounts of nuclear fuel at their cores, producing tons of energy and heating their centers. Heat generates pressure, and the pressure created by a star's nuclear burning also keeps that star from collapsing. While the star's gravity pulls the star inward and tries to make it collapse, the nuclear fuel burning in the star's core pushes outward. These two forces cancel each other out and make the star stable. But when a massive star runs out of fuel, it cools off and causes the pressure to drop. Gravity wins out and the star suddenly collapses. The star collapses so fast that it creates enormous shock waves that cause the outer part of the star to explode. That resulting explosion is what we call a supernova. Now, back to where we left. In 2020, a team of Australian researchers revealed how they extracted a special isotope of iron, called Iron-60, from five deep-sea sediment samples using mass spectrometry. The isotope is predominantly produced in massive stars and ejected in supernova explosions. Long story short, Iron-60 is left over after a star explodes in a supernova. Iron-60 is radioactive and takes 15 million years to completely decay. This implies that any Iron-60 found on the Earth arrived here from a nearby supernova before settling on the ocean floor. While the isotope is radioactive and takes 15 million years to decay, it isn't dangerous to humans, according to the research team, as it is a very light dusting. Nonetheless, the research team suggests that our planet is continuously being dusted with the stuff as it's moving through the local interstellar cloud, a region of unclear origins made up of gas, dust, and plasma. Australian National University's Dr. Anton Wallner and colleagues previously found traces of Iron-60 at about 2.6 million years ago, and possibly another at around 6 million years ago, suggesting our planet had traveled through fallout clouds from nearby supernovae. They also found the rare isotope and samples of lunar soil returned to Earth by the Apollo 12, 15, and 16 missions. Now, Walner has found more of the stuff in five samples of deep-sea sediments from two locations dating back to 33,000 years ago. And the amounts of Iron-60 in the samples are pretty consistent over the entire time period. By analyzing samples of a far more recent era in the history of the Earth, the research team was attempting to find answers to the mysteries behind the cloud our planet is moving through what it's made of, and where it comes from. But it seems like what they found brought up more questions, as the amounts of Iron-60 in the samples seem to be pretty consistent over the entire time period. So, if there was a supernova event in the past, there would have been a spike, or at least a change in the amount of the isotope. It's possible, the researchers note in their paper, that the local interstellar cloud and the supernova debris are coincident rather than one structure, with the debris remaining in the interstellar medium from supernovae that took place millions of years ago. So, the Iron 60 could originate from even older supernovae explosions, and what the team measured was some kind of echo. But more data is required to resolve these details. A supernova burns for only a short period of time, but it can teach us a lot about how the universe began. One kind of supernova has shown scientists that we live in an expanding universe, one that is growing at an ever-increasing rate. Scientists have also determined that supernovas play a key role in distributing elements throughout the universe. However, 
A paper on the findings was published online in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. And you can find a link to that paper in the description below. If you want to help this channel, please consider subscribing and push the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos.